first listen to the mix that we have. And then it's repeating and yeah. I have the stereo master here. You can see the inserts here. And what I'm going to first talk about is when you are using a limiter, let's for example use the L2. The first thing that you want to decide is how much you can limit without it affecting the file. In this mix I have very punchy drums and they have fairly big amount of headroom. So let's first try to see how much I can squeeze things with this without destroying the sound. I'll pull down the threshold and the output ceiling with this so that that way we will not be fooled by the louder is better effect if we just pull down the threshold. And as you can hear, at this point we have pretty much destroyed the drums, they are not there anymore. So let's pull it back and let's do like 2 dBs at a time. Okay, no effect at 2 dBs, so let's try 4. Very minimal, it's only shaving off the really loud peaks, so we can go with that. Okay, next one. You can start to hear that some of the peaks are getting a bit rounder, so this is in the threshold what we can do with this limiter, but let's try where it starts to get destroyed with this limiter. With 8 dB it seems that it is totally destroyed, but what we can do is that we use another limiter before the L2. So let's try the a classic clipper which is a soft clipper and I will set the slope to the steepest possible and let's try the 8 dB here and then 8 dB on the output so now it is basically the same volume so now we have the same amount of gain reduction as with the L2 Because this is so much faster than the L2, we can get the same amount of gain reduction, but it being more transparent. So when we combine now these two... But as you can see, it's letting some peaks through, so that's why I'm using this. So now let's see how much higher or lower I can go with the L2. So I can shave off another dB with the L2, which is cool. If you still want to maximize the loudness, you can also use an EQ before all these, so that the low end won't be caught in the limiter first. Let's try like 300 Hz and let's drop it by 2 dB. Okay, and then after the clipper, we do the same, but we just change the direction, so we put it, put it plus 2 dB. Kind of neat, eh? Now we just pull up the 
ceiling and now we have a really loud file. So let's listen. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I make new videos every week. And if you want to wish for topics, please write them down in the comments below. And thank you for watching and make good music.